Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can create a bar chart of means using SPSS. I'll be using version 26 myself, but this also should work with older versions. And in this video I'm going to use the method to create first a overview of the means and then convert those simply into a bar chart. So uh, this is for repeated measures. So I have thriller, horror, comedy and adventure and they were all scored on a scale of 1 to 10. So first, for the means itself, analyze descriptive statistics. Frequencies or descriptives, either would work. Uh, let's do frequencies. Let me pull that into view for you. I'll reset so that everything is from the beginning. Uh, I'll select with shift all of the measures I want to see. I actually uh, uncheck the display frequency tables, which gives me a warning that I haven't done any other options. Uh, there is a chart here, which, as you can see, uh, you can actually choose uh, for bar charts and histograms, but that will do it per variable, so we don't want that. And statistics, um, what I want to see is actually the mean. So continue and OK. So now we have the table, and here are the means. I can double-click on this, and then I'll simply select what it is I want to see in the diagram, right click create graph and then bar this should give you something looking like this you can double click on this to open up the chart editor and change some things like the color or uh, the name of this scale which i would probably actually call very gently click it's a little bit tricky sometimes uh, change to mean and here this was a genre so i could make this into genre and then you can simply close the chart editor and it will actually keep the diagram. And that's it. That's how you can quickly create an overview of the means visually. Uh, not sure if this is the best diagram for uh, repeated measures, but at least it's an option. 